So we finally got to visit Italy at the end of May 2019, and we were supposed to do this trip the year before, but Alicia's passport didn't arrive on time. This was the first stop of our week-long road trip. The place is called Seborga. It's a really charming hilltop village overlooking the Italian Riviera that used to be its own principality, which some say it still is these days. We stayed at this exceptional agriturismo, which is an Italian rural guest house right in the midst of nature. The room was very clean and spacious. It's fantastic for family with kids because they have several animals that just roams around and are really friendly with people. We also visited some beautiful villages nearby, namely Dolce Aqua and Bordighera. Alicia tried her first real Italian tiramisu as well and loved it. If you're ever crossing the French-Italian border by the Riviera, make sure you do an overnight stop at this wonderful guest house. It really is in a spectacular setting and the hosts were just so welcoming. You'll really feel like you're home. So I've put the link to this guest house in the details below. The name of this guest house is called Agriturismo Monaci Templari. We continued along the Mediterranean coast and couldn't resist stopping by the well-renowned Cinque Terre. We were really unlucky with the weather though, and when we arrived at La Svezia, all the ferries had been cancelled and made us wait until the next day. When we did finally make it out, the sea was still really rough, and Alicia was not a big fan of the boat ride. Luckily, she eventually fell asleep. Once arrived in Monte Rosso, weather started to clear and we managed to go for a nice stroll around the old village. Personally though, I found it it was a bit overridden by tourists and sort of takes away the charm a bit. Before heading on to the next destination, we had to stop by the Leaning Tower of Pisa, of course, for that iconic photo, although we didn't take it with that cliché pose. Next stop, Tuscany. This was meant to be the highlight of our trip, and for years I've wanted to visit this part of Italy, having seen so many photos and videos that consider it as one of the most beautiful places on Earth. I wanted to go to the Chianti region in particular as I'm a big fan of their wine. Chianti lies between the cities of Florence and Siena. Many of these villages in the Chianti region are listed on the most beautiful villages of Italy. We stayed near one of those called Castellina in Chianti, although our agriturismo was actually a little bit further out from the village. Perched on top of these Tuscan rolling hills, we stayed at a vineyard and farmhouse that dates back to 1850 called Fattoria di Veggi. The place itself was run by a friendly host called Silvio and he actually runs this guest house as a second business with his wine production being his pride. When we were approaching this place through the windy dirt roads, we couldn't believe we were actually going to stay here. It was something straight out of the postcard. There's even an infinity pool that overlooks his vineyards or there wasn't warm enough to swim yet when we were there. So there we go. Thanks for joining us on this little adventure. If you've been to any of those places, please share your tips and recommendations in the comments below. If you're planning to go to one of these places, feel free to ask for any advice through the comments and I'll try and help you out. This is a new channel I've just created to post our family adventures, share tips on anything related to traveling, especially with children. So make sure you catch our next video by clicking on that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.